Again, we discuss meaning of a physics or what is physics. Before starting with the concept like physics, we start with first term called science. Here, meaning of science again, knowledge, it is the study of nature. I already said, science word originate from the Latin verb scientia. Science word originate from the Latin verb scientia means to know. Dear student, in last class I said physics is also called knowledge and science is also called knowledge. Knowledge about what? Nature. Whatever even takes place in a day to day life in a nature that we are going to discuss in a different phenomenon or different effect sites. Again, science word originate from the Latin verb scientia means to know. In Sanskrit, science means vijnan. Everyone you heard about this word. In a Sanskrit, science means vijnan. Again, to understand this science, there will be a particular method is required. First one, if in two circles, Arcs of same length, arcs of same length. So consider two arc. I hope you know what I mean by arc, right? Length of the part of the circumference. I'll consider two arc AB and CD in a different two circles of same length. Length of the both okay arc in the different circles are same. Subtains an angle 60 degree and 75 degree. One the arc, one circle lay 60 degree subtend madre. You know, let's say of same length. In one circle, okay, 75 degrees subtend manat, okay, at the center of the circle. Find the ratio of their radius. So, suppose this is R1, this is R2. What is R? Find R1 by R2. Two different circles, same length of the R, two different angles, okay. So, which formula we should use? We know that. Tell me, V means you are also included. S is equal to r theta radian s is equal to r theta radian okay so this is circle one of the figure one this is figure two we have many laws of chemical combination a chemical reaction occurs there are many chemical transformations you studied most of them in your previous classes or in your lower section okay so those reactions the chemical reactions that you have studied so far they takes place according to these laws, according to laws of chemical combination. And they have to follow certain rules. So they follow all these five rules and they undergo chemical reaction. So they have to obey all these rules. And that first law is law of conservation of 
mass you might have studied this law of conservation of mass here what it says matter can neither be created nor destroyed so you cannot create a matter in empty space empty space linge matter nu create maadlikke agudilla pelvic region hope you know that our pelvic girdle bone is which one coxal bone alva two coxal bones are there okay that coxal bone along with that on the vertebral column the last two bones what are they one is the sacrum and the last one is the coccyx i repeat just try to assume the two coxal bones they are basin like structure right two coxal bone visible and the vertebral column last two bones are yav yavdu sacrum and coccyx the area encircled by coxal bone sacrum coccyx i repeat the area encircled by coxal bone sacrum coccyx that entire area is called pelvic cavity athava pelvic region is a clear a little difference can be seen while answering be careful where male reproductive system is present it is in the pelvis region basically organizations refers to the group of people working together for a common goals and objectives or bringing together the various organizational resources so basically organization can be subdivided into the trading organization and the not for profit organization or a non trading organization the trading organization refers to the activities which is concerned with the exchange of goods and services or in the case of it is mainly concerned with the profit motive but in the case of not for profit organization or a non trading concerns refers to the so render the maximum services to the public people or a society people without uh, aiming at a profit it means suppose in the case of the mainly concerned with the service motives or rendering the maximum services to the society people so first i am going to the introduction about the not for profit organization